Hello students, welcome back to my digital classroom. In today's class, I'll discuss chapter 3 of your health edition, class 10. The name of the chapter is Drugs, Medicine and Self-Medication. First of all, let us see what are drugs and medicine. Now, a drug is a chemical or non-infectious biological substance that causes a change in an organism's physiology or psychology when consumed. Any substance other than food that is used to prevent, diagnose, treat or relieve symptoms of a disease or abnormal condition that is known as drugs. Drugs can also affect how the brain and the rest of the body work and cause changes in mood, awareness, thoughts, feelings or behavior. Some type of drugs such as opiates may be abused or lead to addiction. There are various sources from which drugs are obtained such as plants, animals and minerals. Nowadays some drugs are also synthesized in the laboratories. Now let us see what are medicines. Medicines are chemicals or compounds used to cure, halt or prevent diseases. Medicines are capable to ease symptoms or help in the diagnosis of illness. Advances in medicines have enabled doctors to cure many diseases and save lives. These days, medicines come from a variety of sources. Many are developed from substances found in nature and even today many are extracted from plants. Some medicines are also made in laboratories by mixing together a number of chemicals. Others like penicillin and others like penicillin are byproducts of organisms such as fungus and few medicines are even biologically engineered by inserting genes into bacteria that make them produce the desired substances. Now, as medical science progressed, the need of more and more drugs was felt. And that leads to give birth to the era of synthetic drugs. Now, what are synthetic drugs? Synthetic drugs are chemical drugs made in laboratories. While some of them are produced for medical reasons, many have no medical use. Synthetic drugs can be very potent and often contain unknown chemicals that could be dangerous for ourselves. Even though they are marketed as legal and safe for us, they can make you feel euphonic, they can make you feel euphoric, which is why they are often abused. The first pioneering work in the field of synthetic drugs was done by 
Paul Alaric. He laid the foundation for chemotherapy. Now, what is chemotherapy? Chemotherapy is the process of treatment of disease by administering chemicals into the body, especially in the case of cancer disease, chemotherapy is used. The next step in the history of development of drugs was the discovery of penicillin by Alexander Fleming in 1928 and also discovery of streptomycin in 1943 by Selman A. Walkman. As you know, nowadays plenty of drugs are available in the market. These drugs should be taken only under medical advice. In case of any illness, one must go to a qualified physician and one must ensure that the doctor holds a recognized relevant degree or diploma. Because the effects of synthetic drugs on the human body can be dangerous and unpredictable. Using synthetic drugs can cause harmful health effects like uh, suicidal tendency, vomiting, violence, rapid heart rate, nausea, kidney injury or high blood pressure. Drugs have to be handled with great care. They are capable of doing a great deal of good, but if we use them indiscriminately, they can cause a great harm to our body. These harms may be temporary or minor, may be permanent, it may cause permanent disability or in some cases it may cause death even. The drugs used can be medication must be used properly to help avoid problems such as unwanted effects and other adverse reaction. It is important to understand our medication instruction to make sure that we are taking these medicines correctly and properly. While taking medicine, we must ensure that we are taking all medication exactly as instructed by our doctor or pharmacist. We should not take medication prescribed for somebody else. We must learn about our medication, their importance of taking such medicine properly and in correct time. We should not stop taking prescribed medicine without discussing it with our doctor. If it is not working, we should speak with our doctor about an alternative. The drugs used can be non-prescription or patent drugs or prescription drugs. That is prescribed by any medical practitioner. Non-prescription drugs are generally used in case of minor ailments such as headache,
कॉमन कोल्ड और माइल्ड पेन वन मस्ट फॉलो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द लेवल केयरफुली एंड इफ द सिम्टम्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट परसिस्ट ए फिजिकल शुड बी कंसल्टेड इमीडिएटली दैट इज इन केस ऑफ नॉन प्रेस्क्रिप्शन ड्रग्स बट इन केस ऑफ प्रेस्क्रिप्शन ड्रग्स द डायरेक्शन गिवेन बाई द डॉक्टर शुड बी केयरफुली फॉलोड द लेफ्ट ओवर ड्रग्स शुड नॉट बी यूज विदाउट कंसल्टिंग ए डॉक्टर वी मस्ट परचेज ड्रग्स फ्रॉम ए रेप्यूटेड ड्रग स्टोर बिकॉज स्पीडियस एंड एडल्टरेड ड्रग्स कैन cause a great harm to our body it may cause death the expiry date of the drug should be considered while purchasing in the medicine medicinal bottle or the medicinal strip it is clearly written the date of manufacture and date of expiry before we purchase any medicine we must check these such as date of manufacture and date of expiry leftover drugs after using or after recovery these leftover drugs can be donated to charitable dispensaries or and hospitals for its use now let us discuss about what is self medication self medication is a common practice not only in our country but globally and the resulting irritational drug use is raising concerns self care is practice or action taken by people for themselves in order to have and maintain health avoid and protect from diseases but self medication is considered as one component of self care according to who according to who's definition self medication involves the use of medicinal products by the consumer to treat self diagnosed disorders or symptoms or continued use of medication prescribed by a physician for chronic or recurrent diseases or symptoms as we can notice that we can obtain some drugs from the chemist without a doctor's prescription while other drugs can only be purchased if we have a prescription from a qualified doctor sale of drugs is governed by the drugs control act because every drug is potentially dangerous improper use of these drugs may lead to serious consequences now what leads to self medication although the exact reason is very specific to an individual situation there are some commonly understood reasons including the cost of the medical treatment is too high including doctor's visit and medication this may be one factor another factor may be 
fear of seeking treatment due to perceived negative stigmas or maybe hiding or denying a condition or maybe inefficient medication used for treatment in the past or it may be due to fear of side effects from medication in our country the desirable practice of regular medical checkup is still not practiced therefore we often use medication and try to cure minor ailments ourselves this type of self medication is very dangerous in fact when self medication is prolonged it can affect one's health seriously symptoms like chest pain blackout nausea and unconsciousness may need immediate medical care by a qualified doctor now when we should go to a doctor or consult a doctor in case of any severity persistence or repetition of symptoms should be used as a criteria for consulting a doctor immediately also when we are in doubt about any of these a doctor must be consulted next we'll discuss what are the potential risk or dangers of self medication potential risk of self medication practice include incorrect self diagnosis delays in seeking medical advice when needed infrequent but severe adverse condition dangerous drug interactions incorrect manners of administration of drugs or incorrect doses incorrect choice of therapy masking of severe disease and risk of dependence and abuse these are the potential dangers of self medication now there are some of the reasons why self medication should be avoided you should not take any kind of medicines without consulting a doctor in many cases what happens it shows similar symptoms there are several diseases are there which shows similar symptoms out of which some are fatal some are non fatal so without knowing the cause of the disease it is highly dangerous to treat it on our own for example whenever we used to suffer with any kind of pain especially to take or headache we used to take painkillers now painkillers are not the specific medicine which can heal the root cause of the pain painkillers may relieve pain for the time being but the disease for which the pain is occurring or the disease which has caused this pain may progress without our knowledge since we are not feeling the pain due to the action of painkiller 
we won't notice that the disease is progressing or it may aggravate the situation another point is that reaction to various drugs differs from individual to individual every medicine every drug has a has some kind of reaction and it varies from person to person or it may vary for the same person under different condition different time another reason why we should avoid self medication is that generally medicines prescribed for another person for the same kind of disease may not suit your case or somebody else case even though it shows same symptoms in some cases what happens some individuals are allergic to certain drugs for example you can say antibiotics generally uh, some persons are very much allergic with antibiotic medicine now i can give here an example the antibiotic penicillin it is known to cause serious allergies in some individuals now if we take penicillin without doctor's prescription it may be fatal generally what happen when penicillin is given to any patient before it is injected doctors used to pa uh, doctors used to perform skin test if there is no allergic reaction then only the patient is given this penicillin injection another reason for avoiding self medication is that a number of medicines have side effects that is they may relieve the symptoms they may cure the disease but it may cause other problem other problem in the body for example some oral antibiotics may cause vomiting loose motion diarrhea etc we should not use any kind of leftover medicines from earlier illness because it is very dangerous left taking leftover medicines should be totally avoided another factor is that doses of medicines taking without consulting a doctor can be harmful doses of medicine varies from person to person and it also varies according to the ages the doses of medicine which is suitable for any adult person is not appropriate for any minors all drugs are generally pretested before they are recommended for general use but sometimes what happen even these pretested drugs may cause harm to some individuals 
For example, thalidomide is a kind of drug which is used to induce sleep is one such example examples. Pregnant mothers who used these drugs during pregnancy, it is found that they gave birth to deformed bab babies. That means this medicine caused a great harm to the fetus. Now let us see what is drug abuse. Generally the word abuse means misuse or abnormal use. Now there are substances other than common drugs which have the potential for abuse that means misuse. This may be a kitchen spices made from uh, common flowers or weeds to the highly sophisticated drugs. As we know, we have discussed earlier that drugs are inert substances. We can say drugs are neither good nor bad in themselves. Its good characteristics or bad characteristics depends on how they are used. Or it is the nature of human involvement which makes them either beneficial or harmful. Drugs that are okay. Now, drugs abuse generally. Uh, how will define drug abuse? Drug abuse is defined as self-administration of drugs in excessive or inappropriate doses. The drugs that are likely to be abused may be classified into four categories. According to their abuse potential, drugs are classified into four categories. For example, drugs may be classified into narcotics, depressants, stimulants, and hallucinogen. Alcohol and tobacco, these are also falls under the category of drugs. And these are two substances most commonly abused throughout the world. Narcotics and depressants such as mild sedatives, barbiturates or tranquilizers and stimulants are essential for the practice of modern medicine. But in case of hallucinogens, hallucinogens are used only in case of medical research, not as a medicine. Now when administered without medical supervision, they are said to be abused. All these four substances, narcotics, depressants, stimulants, hallucinogen, when these are administered without medical supervision, they are termed or they are said to be abused. All these substances with their abuse potential have the capacity to change or to produce 
changes in human behavior especially when large amount of these drugs are improperly used as a result what happen due to this improper use of such medicines or drugs the abuser may feel intoxicated relaxed withdrawn and solitary or sociable and talkative quick to agree or believe so these are the characteristics a drug abuser either they uh, they like to remain alone or sometimes they becomes too much sociable too much talkative and also quick to agree or believe to anything now such changes may either be harmless or such changes may pose a serious threat to both the abuser of the drugs and society generally it causes great harm or it poses a serious threat to the abuser of drugs so that is what drug abuse in my next class i'll discuss about these main four categories of drugs that is narcotics depressants stimulants and hallucinogen so let me stop here i'll continue this chapter in my next video thank you for being with me